We actually use this method to evaluate uh, littoral habitats, so the shoreline habitats. Um, this net has a float line on the top, which obviously sink floats to the surface, and then it has a lead line on the bottom, which allows it to sink to the bottom. And as we back up, the net will come in a semicircle fashion, and it'll capture every fish that we that is in this little semicircle area here. Gizzard shad are our target species today, but as you can see, we caught a number of these uh, small wiper, and these are actually represent last year's stock. So it's good to see uh, so many surviving from last year's stock this year. It's very encouraging to know exactly how they're responding to the uh, drought conditions that they experienced over the winter. And based on this same poll, I'd say that survival was quite high. We've been doing this for about 15 years now, and we've developed a really long-term data set. And what we've seen over time is that in the in the 90s, there was a real high peak of gizzard shad abundance, um, particularly of this size. In fact, it was on the border of having too many, but then we saw a pretty sharp decline in the early 2000s to a point where we were starting to get pretty concerned and we started uh, considering some, some management actions to account for it. But just as we were considering those changes, we started to see numbers like this showing up in our nets. So we're, as we're seeing this year, as we've seen uh, in years, the last couple of years, it's been a sort of a rebound effect and we're seeing uh, the number of juvenile shad really climbing back up to numbers that we, we'd like to see. Uh, we, we, aren't, we don't want to get up to numbers that we saw in the 90s, but we feel like we're at about a middle ground right now. So we, It's almost to where we want it, not quite, but it's getting there. And what we see today is just another indication of that upward trend, which is really promising. Especially considering what we've seen in the drawdowns this year. Uh, for the last three years, we've had really low water levels, and this is really encouraging to see how the gizzard shad are responding to those drawdowns.